Hi, I'm Jane Humphreys. I've lived in this town all my life. I was born about half a mile away from the Hall Street Marconi Works. And my dad was a radio engineer working for Marconi. So Marconi has just been part of my life all the time. Uh, but I never realized quite how important he was going to be for me. I had uh, a professional career with the civil service that involved me working with mobile phones, with television, with radio, and all of these things, of course, go back to the fabulous discovery and work that Marconi did. And he not only did it, but he did the original manufacturing and engineering work here at Hall Street in Chelmsford. So I'm puzzled. I grew up with Marconi being a central part of Chelmsford life. And I always thought it would continue to be that way. It was sad when the Marconi works closed and there are different stories to why that happened, but it happened. And since the works have gone, Chelmsford seems to be steadily forgetting its Marconi heritage. And I cannot understand why that is happening. It's, he's so central to not only the economy of Chelmsford, but to our daily lives. Just imagine being without your mobile phone, or being without your television, or being without radio, or the various things that Radio Spectrum can do, like uh, smart meters, radar, uh, flight tracking, uh, there is just so many things that radio communication does and this was all triggered by Marconi. So why, why is it that here in the home of, Chelms of Marconi in Chelmsford it's increasingly difficult to find anything about Marconi? Surely this is where people from around the world would want to come and find out where Marconi set up his works and did all the great work. And yet, it's not here. So, here at Hall Street is where it started. And I really hope this is not where it ends. This is the opportunity to put Marconi back at the centre of Chelmsford's heritage for the 21st century and beyond and to bring Marconi alive to the people who live here and to people from around the world who just want to come and find out where the home of wireless and radio communications is. How do you view the wonderful brown signs that uh, the City Council have put up on the entrances to the city Welcome to Chelmsford, birthplace of radio. That's fine for me because I think um, the most distinctive, the most exciting part about Chelmsford uh, is what it has done with radio. So having that crisp in language that people understand, that's fabulous. Where is it actually pointing to? Where is the birthplace? Where would a visitor seeing those signs come to find it? They come, they come and park in a car park. Wait, what do they do next? They get puzzled because uh, if they've got a street map, they might be able to find Marconi Road out the back of New Street. Uh, but it's a bit anonymous. Uh, and beyond that, you can't find anything. You'd have to ask a Marconi pensioner uh, if you could find one, and there are quite a lot around still, to point out various places where there were offices and works in Chelmsford, but I wouldn't know where to go. Surely one answer could be, a modern answer would be, well of course they turn on their smartphone and they tap in Marconi Chelmsford and up pops the map with the Hall Street, with uh, Sanford Mill, only open seven days a year. Uh, with New uh, Street. Yeah, with New you... Street and also the Chelmsford Museum which has a small window display uh, including yes. all the other works. But, but it's amazing that, that they have got brown signs that effectively point to oblivion. You would want to expect to see 
uh, either a physical tourist office or at least a virtual one that was there on your smartphone. But what you need is good information and to be able to go and say, well, where is Marconi? Where is this heritage? Where can I go? Can I go on a Marconi trail? Can I walk around? How, what, where can I go and live and breathe Marconi? I mean, one would, I've been to Bologna and seen the Marconi Museum out there and I've had the privilege of speaking there, which is fabulous. But what happened next? Marconi left Bologna and he came here to Chelmsford. So where's the parallel? The Italian government spent a lot of money uh, refurbishing Villa Griffoni, which uh, fell into disrepair mm. after the war. Uh, and, uh, uh, and apparently three MPs fought for that place. Have you heard of any local MPs fighting for Marconi here? Not, not a lot, no. I mean, if you ask people, I think they're sort of saying, oh yes, of course we should do something, but it's... Uh, uh, but money's tight and there are a lot of other things we should do. So it's... I, um, I can't say I'm overwhelmed by the passion for Marconi amongst the people who could make a difference. Uh, this was Marconi Town at one point. It was. I think it had 40,000 employees. Absolutely. This was, city was built not on rock and roll, but on, on radio and wireless. Indeed, you had, the, you had the great works of Marconi and Hoffman and Crompton and you uh, couldn't, literally couldn't move at uh, factory coming out time for all the employees. If you uh, had a magic wand, what would be your solution? I think Chelmsford deserves, and Marconi deserves, to have a centrally accessible, permanent museum display, interactive feature that can not only tell the story of Marconi, but also to excite people about the potential for careers in radio engineering going forward. It would be wonderful if you could cite that somewhere where Marconi's feet trod. And one obvious place is that the Hall Street works.